Henry and Gordon were alone with James, although Sir Topham Hatt was beginning to think well of him. Whenever a chance came, the other engines would talk of nothing but bootlaces. Remember when they had to use a bootlace to get you out of trouble, James, they would tease. James tried to get back by talking about Henry, who got shot up in the tunnel, and Gordon, who got stuck on a hill. But they wouldn't listen. You talk too much, little James, said Gordon. A fine, strong engine like me has something to talk about. I'm the only engine who can pull the express. When I'm not there, they need two engines. Think of that. I've pulled expresses for years and have never once lost my way. I seem to know the right line by instinct. Every wise engine knows, of course, that the signalman sets the switches to make the engines run on the right track. Gordon is so proud that he has... Thomas is so proud to too. James said Gordon next morning. It's nearly time for the express. What are you doing? Odd jobs? Oh, well, we all have to begin somewhere, don't we? Run along now and get my coaches. Don't be late. James went to get Gordon's coaches. They were all shining with lovely new paint. He was careful not to bump them, and they followed him smoothly into the station, singing happily, We're going away, we're going away. I wish I was going with you, said James. I, I would love, love to pull the express, express and go driving along, along the line. The line. I can't really get back onto the coaches. So Tom Hat was riding on the report and as soon as they hear the conductor's whistle, Gordon stopped. Look at me now, look at me now, he puffed. The coaches glided after him. Poop, 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 poop. Goodbye, little James. See you tomorrow. James watched the train disappear and then went back to work. He pushed some freight cars into their proper sidings and went to fetch the coaches for another train. James had just brought the coaches to the platform when he heard a mournful noise. There was Gordon trying to sneak into the station without being noticed. Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow? asked James. Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam feebly. Did you lose your way, Gordon? said James. No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. 